Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Guys, I'm going to caveat off of that. I just did a video about that, how God is going to pull you out the cinders. But guys, you ever wonder that? How, how is God going to prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies? Is he going to invite my enemies? Am I going to be somewhere eating with my enemies? Newsflash. A lot of times, people that are really against you. <laughs> guys, they watching you. They watching you. Okay, not like watching you, stalking you, but they pay attention. People that's done you dirty and done you grimy. People that's against you. They're against your ministry. They're against what you're doing. They're against your blog, your vlog. They're against your channel. They're against your ministry. They're against your church. Listen, when they go on and kick you out or whatever they do to get you out and they do stuff, they keep peeking over the fence. They can't help it. They like that dude from Home Improvement. I never really watched that show. But in passing, I'd always see that guy over the fence, just looking. That's all you ever saw that dude. I don't know what his name is. But guys, he's going to be able to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Because believe it or not, your, pre your enemies are present. Thank you, Lord. The Lord has given me another revelation. Your enemies are, listen. Wow. Okay. Let me hurry up because I'm getting excited. Well, he just dropped in my spirit. He's going to be able to do it in the presence of your enemies because number one, people that are operating in this malicious spirit, okay, and they don't want to see you succeed, guys, they have, you just have people like that. They don't want to see you do well. They don't want to see you succeed. So what happens is even though they're talking about you and even though they're gnashing on you, they can't help but go on and click on your channel. Even though they're saying what you're never going to be, they can't help but go on your Go, go sneak in on your YouTube lives or your Facebook live or find out what's going on with you because they like to talk about you. That's what they do. So they have to circle and check and see and peek and even sometimes come in person and act like they're your homeboy, homegirl. Act like they're your good friend. Act like they're coming to do a welfare check, so to speak, okay? But my brothers and sisters, that's how... Your enemies are going to see God prepare a table before you because after they've done you wrong, no matter how much they're talking about you, they steady watching. The next thing that the Lord just dropped in my spirit, how the Lord is going to be able to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies is because your enemies are going to be unbeknownst to you, those you think you can trust. So they're going to be your friends. They're going to be that person that's right there next to you, watching you doing everything that you felt that was a friend, but it's in fact an enemy. So while they're sitting there going incognito, let me, let me say that again. Another way that your enemies is God, God, the Lord will be preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies is because those that you think are your friends, those that you think that will support you, those that you think are on the same, they're, they're in unison, they're on the same plane with you and they're supporting you and they're coming as a friend that they're in fact an enemy. So guess what? God's going to bless you in spite of them being close to you, acting like a friend when inside they're truly an enemy trying to mess you up, trying to cause your business to go down, trying to cause your marriage to fail, trying to keep you from going into the things of God. Despite that, God is going to allow them to see that he's going to prepare a table before you despite their plans, despite the inside job they're trying to do. God's got you covered that even that friend that you thought, that spouse that you thought, that business partner that you thought, that ministry that you thought, those people that surround you trying to be your mentors, trying to be whatever, people that you looked at with respect and honored, God is going to prepare a table before you in their presence because they're your enemies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Surprise. Surprise. My brothers and sisters, this is why you don't have to spend your time being paranoid. You don't have to spend your time with an inspector gadget hat on and a magnifying glass and, and, and a coat with a collar up. Okay. You don't have to be taking taxi talking about follow that cab. You don't got to do all of that. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. 
No, you don't. No, you don't. God's got you. You just need to ensure that you're obeying him. You just need to ensure that you come into his presence when he tells you to. You got to ensure that you get up and you pray to your heavenly father. You got to ensure that you are a delight to him. That's it. Because they're busy running and doing all that they're doing. And they're busy trying to snoop. They're busy in the taxi talking about follow that channel, follow that thread. They're doing that. You don't have to do that, my brothers and sisters. Just make God your absolute delight. Delight in his presence. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And trust and believe God is going to take care of everything that concerns you, including your enemies. And he's going to make a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He's going to anoint your head with oil. They're going to see that. They're going to see your cup running over. They're going to see that. They're going to see that goodness and mercy is following you all the days of your life. And it's because you dwelt in the house of the Lord. Ooh, I get so fired up. God is amazing, y'all. I get, I get discouraged sometimes, just like you do. Don't think I'm always on 10. But no matter what, I know I have nowhere else to go but to him. Because I know where he brought me from. And I'm not going back to the slop. I'm not going back to the dark place. I'm not going back to the cinders. I'm staying where he put me at because I know that my feet are planted. My steps are ordered and so are yours. So cut it out. Cut that out, man. I'm trying to tell you. Real talk. Stop it. I know that things may be hard. Things may get on your nerves, but you need to trust in the word of God and you need to act to be led by the spirit of God. You can't do this. The word of God means nothing if you're not guided by the Holy Spirit. The word of God means nothing if you have no relationship with him. If you don't treat him the way you're going to treat a person. If you don't treat him like someone that's most precious to you. my Listen, some of y'all, y'all love y'all little dogs and your little cats, Fifi and all of that. You will do everything for that cat. Come on. God made that cat. Give the Lord time. Give him your time and your all. And I'm trying to tell you. He'll give you. You see, this is a problem. People want God to give them stuff. But you have to love him. You have to love him. Or you're going to find out all you're getting from your father is the basics. All you're getting from your father is some supplements. Now, not because God is unfair, but you're not. You're not. Listen. You know that child that just stay up under their parents and just love them and go help do the laundry and bleep, bleep. Oh, they're just a delight. They're sitting there and say, Mom, can I have a Nintendo Switch? You'll be like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen, what you put in is what you're going to get out. And meaning this. You can know the secret things of God. You can be in the secret place. You, be, you could be getting things, knowledge and the mysteries of God if you're spending the time with him. Oh my goodness. That's a whole nother topic. But all I'm telling you is this. When he prepares that table before your enemies. Mm, they're going to know. Truly. This was the daughter of God. Truly, this was a son of God. Because of how you behaved yourself, because of how you walked uprightly. And biggest thing is, because nothing that they did could hinder you and stumble you. And they're seeing you being magnified by your father. Your father will reward you openly. He believes in that. When you seek him secretly, you come into the secret place, he will reward you openly. All right, guys, I'm out.